I was working on a film in New York when I got a call to say Michael Bay is going to do a new Transformers, Mark Wahlberg is going to be part of it. Um, so I flew out to LA to meet Michael and to have a conversation with him and I found him to be a really amicable guy. We got on great together. And then I met Denise Chamey and the casting director, did yeah. a couple of tapes with her and eventually ended up testing with Nicola. And I flew back to New York and two weeks later Michael calls me on the phone and he says, hey Jack, what's going on? I went, how are you man? Nice to hear from you. He says, yeah, uh, you didn't get the part. And I was like, oh. And he goes, no, I'm just messing with you. Of course you did. So that's Michael in his way, you know. Um, but I just remember just, I mean, that was that was like the moment. That was like, wow, this is like the big payoff now. I'm going to go and make one of these films and be part of this and, you know, just experience it and immerse myself in it as much as I can. And it was just really exciting, you know. And you had a similar story as well, right? Yeah, you know, I was very excited when I, when I found out they were casting a girl my age. And, and I grew up being such a big fan of Transformers and Michael and, and Mark and just everyone involved. So um, the casting process was, was you know, I uh, long. I, I met Denise Chamey and the casting director a few times, who's so lovely. And then eventually um, I tested with Jack and met Michael for the first time, and, and I found out I got it, and I was so excited. It's an interesting dynamic, and, um, you know, it's it's a new element for this franchise, and I think it's one that people will really relate to. Um, my character, at least, is this young Irish race car driver who's come over to Texas and he's, you know, trying to carve out a living for himself and to get on top of his game over there. And, uh, you know, that correlates kind of directly to what it's like to be a young Irish actor just landing in Hollywood, you know what I mean? Um, so in that sense, I could really relate to him and, and try to play with the idea of having to assume my place and to just kind of show what I could do and, you know, what I was able for. And uh, that was a really fun thing to be able to play. And, uh, you know, my character tries his best to just encourage Nicola to just make her own independent steps in the world and to move out and, and to become her own independent woman. And that's a really nice uh, kind of recurring theme mm -hmm. that we see throughout the course of the film. Yeah, I play Tessa Yeager, who's Mark's daughter, and and I love their relationship. It's so great. I, I know I can relate to it. He's the overprotective dad. It's a no-dating household, and, and Tessa plays, well, she's more of the adult in the relationship, and, and she has a secret race car driver boyfriend. And, um, and you know, I love filming this movie. It has so much heart in it, and, and at the end of the day, you realize family comes first, and, and, and we had so much fun filming. So I'm really excited for it to come out. <laughs> That's true, there is really good banter between Mark's character and my character, and there's that whole Irish thing yeah. that's part of it, which is great to be able to play. And, you know, it's fun to be able to represent your country as best you can, you know what I mean, in something like this. So uh, I've felt an awful lot of support from home over the last while, you know, just from just from people who've seen my films and stuff, and that's a really nice thing for me. Um, Can't you believe know, you, you got on set and Michael that. lets you ad lib and just and um, improvise and that was so fun for us going on set I, I didn't know you know that was allowed but Michael loved it and and it just comes across so much more natural and it was so fun to play the dynamic between Jack Mark and myself we love him he's the best and you know us being so new to the business and being able to learn from him every day on set was amazing mm -hmm. you know really good experience with Mark and uh just to watch him and to be able to observe him in that environment working on those types of films um, is really interesting. It illustrates to me how he relates to Hollywood and how Hollywood relates to him and that can really inform my work ethic and my decisions for myself and the steps that I want to take in my career in the future, you know? It's insane, honestly, you know. I thought there was going to be so much more green screen than there actually was. and going to set and, and you know Michael really does blow things up all the time and all the car chases and explosions it's all real so so being in the middle of that as 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 actors it's it's crazy and it's so fun and it makes it that much more real and and the energy on set is so high and I can tell you there's never a dull moment on a Michael Bay set. Yeah that's true that's true it's just incredibly high octane you know and uh, you've got to be very physically prepared for it. Mm -hmm. Um, but
but we we really supported each other a lot throughout the filmmaking process and Michael was certainly part of that too and um yeah I think for Nicola and I both coming into a massive franchise like this yeah. you know and being very new to it we could kind of um just feed off each other's energy a lot and that really helped us it's when we're running you know in slow motion you know we get to set and we see all these ex explosives everywhere and all these cameras and there's 10 cameras and I I've never even been in, a, in a, a scene where there are 10 cameras so you know you get on set and we weren't quite sure what was happening and then we found out we were going to do this huge explosion and that we got to do it not our stunt double so that was really exciting for us and he was, uh, Michael came up to us and he was like, you have to run from here to here in 4.6 seconds. And we did a practice run and he was, and then we just, we did it. And, and, you, and you feel the I heat on your back. I sprinted off and I left him on the round in the practice run as yeah. well. I mean, they were like, you know. I was, oh, don't I, act I, I like you were that fast. I was that fast. No. I did it in about 2.6 seconds. I did it so fast they told me, you can't just leave your girlfriend behind like that. Not I was true. like, okay, I'm not being very Irish about this. <laughs> it was so fun though to film. That's why, you know, he really is, in the very literal sense, a visionary, you know. That is, you know, that's the term encapsulated. Um, for us to read the script and all of the technicalities that go with it, it's just very complex and it's hard to quantify, even when somebody's trying to explain it to you in depth. But when you see what Michael's vision has been all the way through, it's just spectacular. One one second of this film alone looks amazing, but for two hours and 40 minutes, for it to be sustained like that, it's mind-blowing. And that's why a Michael Bay film is a Michael Bay film, and everybody knows it. Hong Kong itself is an amazing city, and I've done nothing but talk about Hong Kong since I've been here shooting, you know? The last couple of months, I just have been dying to get back here and experience a little bit more of it. Um, the people here were just incredibly gracious, mm -hmm. lovely people, and uh, you know, it's such an exotic place to visit in so many ways. And you know, uh, we went out to Lantau Island to the Big Buddha one mm -hmm. day, which is a real so experience. Beautiful. You know, going out in that jungle out there in that rural environment, and then to come back into the middle of this just monumental city, uh, it's lovely. It's just a great place. I have to agree. You know, I. I came here with my mom when, when we were filming and just walking around and, and meeting the people and just trying to get a sense of the environment and the culture. Is, it's so beautiful here and then being able to come back and, and share our film is very exciting for us. So many people can relate to these films, you know, and there's so much heart in them and Michael brings these robots to life.